Hello, everybody. January 2016, I'm walking my dog, Gabby. And as I'm walking my dog, I see a guy who's pushing his bicycle down the street. He's got a backpack on, and he's got a bunch of boxes under his arm. And he's got Amazon tape under the arm or around the boxes. And that triggered my memory. Oh, my rubber chickens have just arrived. Like, they're on their way. And I pulled up my phone, and they're little tiny one-inch rubber chickens. And <laughs> just like those. <laughs> and so I get back to the house, and I look at my front porch, and the rubber chickens aren't there. And they were just delivered, literally, 10 minutes ago. And I look inside, and they're not there either. And immediately, I know what happened. This guy just stole my rubber chickens. And I had the thought, I'm like, I have to chase this guy down. I got to go confront this guy and get my rubber chickens back. <laughs> and so my heart's beating, and I'm like, I got to go do this. And adrenaline's pumping. I'm going to have a confrontational moment over a thief, over some rubber chickens. <laughs> and so I want to stop the story there, because who in their right mind would chase any thief down for something so ridiculous as one-inch rubber chickens? So take the story back a few years, I was stuck in a corporate job, systems administration, and I felt chained behind my desk all day long. And I was making really good money, but I didn't feel good about who I was in the world. I didn't feel good, I didn't feel like I was making a difference, and I definitely didn't feel confident, especially to do something up here right now. And I had the story of I'm not good enough going on in my head the whole time. And I just wanted to travel the world and make a bigger difference in myself and for the world. And I had the big house, I had the nice car, I had all the stuff that you're supposed to have to have the American dream, but it, it didn't matter because I didn't feel good about who I was. And so I watched this documentary called The Happy Movie, and that inspired me to reach out to a life coach. And this life coach, after about a two-hour conversation, she looked at me and she said, you're not confident. You're buying all of your confidence with your money. And that was like a gut punch, like reality. Like someone finally told me the truth of who I was in the world for myself and for other people and just no one else had done it. So this feeling of, you know, do you like me and I'm buying all my confidence really landed in me. And so that made me, gave me the awareness to really go out and go for my dreams. And so I left the corporate world. I moved back in with my mom. I completely rehabbed her house all by watching YouTube videos. And then I, then I became a life coach myself, and I wrote my first book and went on a speaking trip down to Ecuador. And it was on this speaking trip that I met a name, Raphael. And Raphael traveled the world with a giant rubber chicken just like this, Charlie. And he empowered people wherever he went and reminded them that they can be bigger than their fears if they just step into them and become emotionally aware of what's going on in their bodies. And that's Raphael. About a year after I met Raphael, he was killed in a terrorist attack. And it was in this terrorist attack, or after it, that I decided to take on his message and to carry it, or to carry it through to the rest of the world. And there's the remains of it. And so to get back to the story, this thief stole my gift to the world, and I had to do something about it. And so I chased the guy down. And I said, I think he got my rubber packet, my rubber chickens, my package. And I ripped open the package after I saw it. And I looked at him and I held it up to his eyes and I said, what's going on in your life that you're stealing random packages off people's porches? And after I listened to him and found out that he was homeless, that four people had died in his life that year, he, he admitted that he was strung out on drugs, his mom was strung out on drugs, his girlfriend was strung out on drugs, and that they had turned to stealing just to get by. And it was in that moment that I learned that just by listening to people and seeing them for being human, that you can make a difference for them. And if you want to make a difference in the world, the first step is becoming emotionally aware of what's going on in your world so you can be more empathetic to the people around the world and, with, and stepping into your own power, you can actually gain your own self-confidence. And that's the day that I realized that I am confident and I can do anything I want. And so now I give out these little rubber chickens to everybody. And so now everybody here 
can have a rubber chicken.